Hello everyone, thank you for joining us again. So I'm here to talk about the last article we published and it's about corporate investigations. The question is to insource or to outsource. So there are three pillars to fraud risk management. The first is fraud prevention, detection and response. Fraud investigation falls under fraud response but it invariably impacts fraud prevention and detection. I'll tell you how. When you conduct thorough fraud investigations, you deter people even thinking of perpetrating fraud because they know that management can take action. There's going to be a uh, you know, thorough investigation of, of any allegation reported. It also encourages detection because when people you know blow the whistle, they have that confidence that management is going to do something about it. Whether the allegation is going to be proven or not, but at least they have that confidence that management is going to do something about it, which makes them want to report fraud. So now the question of insourcing and outsourcing. What we've said in the article is we've sort of analyzed the pros and cons of in-house investigations versus outsourced investigations. So the thing with in-house investigations is um, there are pros to it. It's cheaper. You, um, the organization already has um, members of the internal audit team on its payroll. There's no need to engage or pay professional fees to an external investigator. Second is there's this experience that you know people within the audition bring to the investigation. They know how things work, they know how processes run, and they can apply that when doing an investigation. But one of these downsides to in-house investigations is sometimes you could find a skill gap depending on the kind of allegation. Imagine an investigation into a cyber attack. The internal audit team or the team responsible for investigation in the organization may not have that specific skill set to be able to conduct that kind of investigation. There's also the risk of objectivity. I mean, imagine if you were in the internal audit team and an allegation falls on your desk to investigate and it involves your favorite buddy from your HR that you always have lunch with. One influential with a manager or director in the organization. So these are the kind of things that one considers. So let's move on to outsource investigations. Some of the pros of outsource investigations is credibility. So the thing with credibility is depending on the brand or the organization or individual that you outsource to, it, it gives credibility to a report, especially where it's a report that has to go to court or arbitration, mediation, that sort of thing. Another thing with um, outsource investigation is you're sure of you know, the right skill set. So irrespective of the type of investigation, it's a forensic accounting investigation, if it's a cyber, um, cyber related investigation, you can outsource and get the right skill set for a proper job done. And yes, this um, external investigation still needs to rely on you know, weaknesses within the organization that we you know, practicals of the fraud and, and they still have to understand how things work, the process within the organization. This is something to consider. And one of the things that guides an organization is fraud response plan. So the ideal thing with the fraud response plan is the organization has predefined certain conditions, the criteria that must be met for an investigation to be outsourced. So let's take the four that we have highlighted in the article. We have the nature of the investigation. So if it's an investigation, maybe a human related matter, maybe harassment or bullying, the organization may choose to have it done in-house. But if it's, like I mentioned, the example of maybe a ransomware attack or a cyber attack, the organization might want to have that outsourced to a more specialized um, investigator with a more specialized skill set. Then we talk about the 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 value of the allegation. Imagine if it's a case of an MD who has been who has allegedly stolen billions of dollars, billions of naira over the years. That investigation is more likely to be outsourced because of the the amount of money involved. Other considerations would involve the chances of it going to to litigation. You know. Some organizations choose to prosecute maybe depending on whatever criteria and they know that oftentimes the the, the report gets more credibility if it's been outsourced over an in-house investigation. Once an organization designs this fraud plan and decides whether to in-house or outsource, all we are saying is whatever method you choose, an insourced, outsourced or a collaboration, co-sourced I would say, the most important thing is for investigations to take place. One of the top reasons why whistleblowers don't make a report is the fear of management inaction. So in summary, it's important that an organization investigates all allegations reported. The reason is contributes to promoting a good anti-fraud culture and it also gives um, 
that confidence in the organization that I know that my reports will be looked into. Take for instance, you as a person put on ethical conduct the first time, the second time, maybe even a third time, and there's been no action from management. You wouldn't be encouraged to report to that organization again. Whatever method, in source or outside, please, it's important that investigation is conducted. To read more about our articles, please click on the subscribe button below. Thank you.